When it comes to ourselves, I feel like sometimes we put ourselves in a box of expression. We feel like we have to be a certain way, so we act in accordance to that way that we think we are. And what I'm coming to realize is, you know, you can be anything. You just have to choose wisely. It's about being intent with your choice and making sure that choice is is 100% your own. I realize that life is a little too short to be lived in reference to, you know, an idea of yourself and not your actual self. When it comes to change and when it comes to actually being someone in it, becoming, I guess, a better version of yourself, it's about being intent with your purpose and intent with your idea. Your viewpoint of yourself and how you feel about yourself ultimately defines your reality in, in a lot of ways. And I feel like I didn't really come to this realization until maybe a few months ago, but it's, it's truly life changing. Once you realize that how you view yourself is how you view the world, then you realize that a lot of the problems that you encounter in the world are because of your perspective. And that's not to say that things aren't inherently bad or, or things are negative or, you know, you shouldn't have a problem with the world. But to say that a lot of times problems are only problems because we allow them to be issues. There are only problems because we allow them to be problems. And that's not to say things don't don't, you know, shouldn't get to you, but to say that you shouldn't let them. A life filled with constant negativity is is not necessarily beneficial to our character in, in any way in my opinion. You know, the way we are and the way we hope to be should tend towards something positive and I think most people want it to. So to do something like that, they have to change their perspective into something positive. Realize that you can get out of life exactly what you want to. And sometimes, you know, life shows itself to you in different ways. But I think in a lot of ways you have to show yourself to life. You have to be the life instead of trying to see it because if you constantly spend your life looking for something, looking for life, then you're acknowledging it and instantiating that it's not currently here. You're instantiating that your happiness and what you're trying to find is something that you can't get right now. And if you keep separating it from yourself, then you're never going to have it. I feel like when it comes to our aspirations, our dreams and anything that comes to us, separation of it from ourselves is never helpful. You know, sometimes you have to act the part before you actually get the part. You know, it, it, you have to audition in a way. In it, in your audition, you sort of become it. It's about just being wholeheartedly you. Realize that only you take up the space you take up and you have to use it. Otherwise, it's not going to get used. You know, that's not to say that um, no one will benefit. That's to say that you won't benefit. Not to say live selfishly, but live selflessly in keep yourself in mind realize that you have to somewhat spoil yourself cheer for yourself validate yourself before you can actually do it for other people because i feel like a lot of us live in reference to other people in, in in living that in that we sort of jeopardize our own security and own self-worth once you start putting your value in the things that aren't you and things that are outside of your control then you become a victim a victim to someone else's circumstance other than your own and that's why I feel like it's important to be intentional with how you think yourself to be and, and how you want to be. In saying you can be anything, choose wisely. I'm saying that your potential is only known by you. Not even known by you. Your potential can only be discovered by you. Who you are can only be discovered by you. You know, you already are somebody. You just have to become more aware of it. And that awareness has to come from you in order for it to actually be expressed. I realized that when it comes to our negativity, when it comes to things that sort of drag us down, it's so easy to not acknowledge. It's so easy to ignore those parts of ourselves until we get put into situations, which we always do, where those parts shine them shine the most bright. And I think a lot of us reject those periods and we try to, you know, act that and we feel at, at times as if we're acting out of character. And the reason we feel like that is because we haven't addressed those parts of ourselves that are being brought to light. And I think it's much more valuable to try to find those sorts of negative parts of yourself, I guess, or just parts of yourself in general before they are forced out of you. It's important to be intent with yourself and mindful of how you are and how, how things truly impact you. And the only way to truly do that is to accept yourself as you are. Accept your feelings and validate them. Even if you are a little bit delusional at the moment or something like that, it you have to first acknowledge before you can heal. 
you can't heal from a wound you don't acknowledge is there. You have to constantly, not constantly, because it, it shouldn't feel like a stressful thing, but be intent with your, with your perspective and realize that you can't notice certain things if you're constantly caught up in the past and the future. If you're constantly caught up in other ideas of yourself and things that aren't you, then you have trouble seeing yourself. That's why I feel like a lot of people lose themselves in their occupation and in other people because they fail to a lot time to themselves and they fail to allow themselves to be truly themselves while with or inside these certain situations. And I know it gets difficult sometimes, but it's about learning how to express how you are inside in a way that's befitting of a situation. You know, be authentically yourself, however, that yourself fits into a certain situation. And sometimes you realize that, you know, you have to die down this part. You have to die down this part because it's just not fitting for the situation. Like you're not going to go into some type of town hall meeting and act a fool. You're not going to be the goofball that you are with your friends. But you have to realize you have multiple sides. You have multitudes. You have a million different ways to express yourself and they're all you. It's just about being comfortable with that expression. Making sure it's genuinely you and cultivated by you. Because what I've realized is once you start doing things in accordance to how you actually feel about yourself and how you actually want to be, then all your actions feel as if they're meant to. Like you don't make mistakes, you just make choices. And that's the truth of the matter. You don't make mistakes, you make choices. You know, and you have to live with those choices, whether or not you think it's, it wasn't supposed to happen or you know, think it was, regardless of which it did. And that's a reality that you have to live with. And it's not necessarily something that should weigh on your shoulders, but it's something you should address. Sometimes you have to learn the lesson in order to move forward. You have to forget the teacher. And you can't move forward if you don't leave anything behind. And if you don't address your problems, if you don't address these situations, if you don't accept that they're actually real, then they'll linger on and on inside your head. I think it's just about being intent and, and positive when it comes to your aspirations and yourself. Stop treating yourself like a project so much and start treating yourself like a person. A person with aspirations, a person with goals, a person of value, a person who you love. And once you start treating yourself like somebody you love, then you'll stop accepting certain things. You'll stop doing negative things for yourself. Like you, like for me, like I don't eat junk food as often. I drink a lot of water. I wash my face. I, I eat supplements. I, I take care of myself. Because that's the highest expression of self-love you can. You know, you're given this vessel, you're given this space you're supposed to take up. Make sure you're taking care of the thing that's taking up space. Take care of yourself and your mind, your spirit, your body, everything all at once. You know, and I think presence also helps with that because you realize what little things play into your health in regards to your mental, your spiritual and whatnot. You know, you can do a certain thing. You can hang out with friends and they can help you mentally if you're having the right conversation. They can help you spiritually, they can help you physically just by doing certain things. And it's just about being intent and, and mindful while you're watching it because then you're giving yourself that validation and that assurance that you're actually taking care of yourself. And once you do that, then everything will seem like care. Everything will, you do will seem like, you know, an instantiation of you. And I feel like that's when it, it truly gets beautiful because that's when, you know, you've become anything you want and you chose wisely. And then you get to a point where you like what you chose. And then liking what you choose, you realize that you can do anything else. Choose wisely is just saying don't don't waste your time trying to be somebody else that you're not. You know, try not, not necessarily try to be you, just be you. I feel like a lot of us look for ourselves without realizing that we sit right in front of it. You know, you ask yourself, what am I doing? Look, that's what you're doing. Like, you're sitting there thinking about what you're doing. And it's about being intent. And, and understanding that if you want to do something, you want to get something done, and you're just going to have to do. And sometimes you have to apply that pressure to yourself. Sometimes it's going to be uncomfortable, but I feel like discomfort is where we grow most. Discomfort is where we're shown that we actually can achieve. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people live at a discomfort with life, and, and they feel like, you know, it sort of comes at them in a sense. But even if you feel like that, you know, you have to realize how triumphant you are just by being alive in this moment. You made it through everything that that's been thrown at you to this moment and you're watching this video now and you made it and you're doing good because you're here because you have so much opportunity you have so much potential you have so much value and it's just about doing the right things in order to express that value in a certain way 
not necessarily express it to other people, but express it to yourself. If you truly think that you're someone valuable, then you're going to take care of your business and take care of yourself. It's just about being intent with that and looking, literally looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself you love you, yourself if you need to. Doing affirmations, doing what you need to self-care and don't be embarrassed about it. How can you be embarrassed about your own self-love? Like, it, it doesn't make sense to me. You can't, you can't live in a reality where, you know, your affection and your intimacy to yourself and your, your knowledge of self is sort of put on the back burner. I feel like that's what a lot of th people want us to do in regards to our, uh, our expression and cultivation because, you know, creativity is ab absence of fear. I feel like a lot of us are afraid and that's why we're, we're put in positions that sort of feel unbefitting. It's like our very fear is the thing that's separating us from the goals in many sense because we're making it feel like it's not real. We're making ourselves feel like you don't deserve it. And and when it comes to things like, oh, I don't deserve it. I don't think I deserve this. I'm getting so much good stuff. And so forget all that. Be grateful because you wanted it and you got it. It's not a matter of do you deserve it. It's a matter of do you want it, you know. And whether or not you feel deserving of it, it also plays a part in that self-love. And, and also that work you put in, because sometimes you have to work to relax. You know, you're not going to feel true re relaxation unless you actually feel like you put in work. And that's another thing about being present. If you actually take the time to do what you do and, and, and live your life and, and be present in your day and be present in the things that you need to do in order to feel like yourself, then you'll feel fulfilled. Fulfillment isn't in action and abundance isn't in possession. It's all in mentality. Abundance is a mentality. You just have to be intent with holding on to it. Realize that you have everything already. Now, you can want more, you know, but that's a subject to you. But you already have it. All that happiness, all that, that things isn't, things aren't brought by possession. It's brought by you and you're the thing feeling it. So you have to make sure you're taking care of the thing that's allowing you to feel these certain things. You know, and saying you can be anything, be kind both to yourself and your environment. Realize that there's too much negativity in this world for you to for you to grow from, you know? You can't grow in negativity. You're not going to become a better person by constantly treating yourself like something that's negative. It's real growth and real I guess cultivation happens when you just allow yourself to love yourself. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I don't know what the what the count is right now. But if it's what I th think it could be, um, we got a stream coming for sure. I'm trying to get back outdoor in the videos. I just got my camera back. I gave it to a friend for a couple of days. Um, but I'm taking care of business on that end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I'm sure I did. Um, I hope you guys are taking care of yourself. Hope you're being kind to yourself, treating yourself like a friend. Because at the end of the day, you got to be there for yourself if nobody else is. Even if people are there for you, make sure you're there for yourself. Because, I don't know, there's just a certain happiness and fulfillment and trust in yourself that allows you to trust the world. And allows you to, to go out in the world and just experience what life has to offer. Rather than experiencing what, you know, your mind is offering to you rather than the experience. So, um, take care. Keeping y'all keeping great. And, uh...